people. Today we're going to look at some bayonets. If you see over here, nearly all of them, say just all of them, are World War II material. English, English, uh, Dutch, 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 uh, Dutch made under Yugoslavian license, uh, and you know, uh, these the same. True Dutch, this one's real beauty. Spanish, called Machete Bayonet. Even wives. These three babies here, World War I material. English, German, German. Quality material as usual. Here we've got the, the post-war uh, bayonets divided with uh, the American style pineapple grenade not loaded no more of course a nice little Swiss bayonet Swiss? Swedish? American! What have we got here? Oh yes, also post-war this one is also a real beauty, strange kind of thing, a little thing, it's Belgian, made to fit on uh, the fall or the FNC, hollow handle bar and a little slightly hollowed out uh, lamet, it's not called lamet is it, oh, never mind, blade, blade. Alrighty, this one most of you know, Russian, looks bloody cheap, but uh, does a trick, backlight uh, handle, if it's called in English backlight, I don't know, uh, what the, the, the nice thing you can do with that one, is cut wire with it, just a moment, I had it before, Always forget it. Ah, oh, that's it. And that's how you got a wire cutter. And even if they put electricity on it, no worries. Rubber, backlight, and no more electricity. Oh, this one. It's a. It's not original. It's a replica. It's one uh, of these uh, 1700 English musket types bayonet. It's a triangle. More than a foot long, I guess. It's about uh, 40, 45 to 50 centimeters. But like I said, not original, replica, but still looks fucking nasty. You don't want that rammed through your uh, ribs or anywhere else for that matter. And here, a couple of real beauties. Not really bayonets, but uh, since they belonged to one of the best soldiers in the world whatsoever, the Hurkas, these things are called Kukris. And they are the original three, the original deal, every, every one of them. Beautiful. Feared by their enemies and respected as well, but mostly uh, feared. These little fuckers even drove the Japanese out of their uh, trenches. In uh, the Pacific Islands and during the war, and uh, the Japanese were not known to be uh, scared easily, but uh, Gorkas, little skinny guys, always friendly, turn into fucking animals if they get into combat. War is kind of like sports for them, that's why the English recruited them in the first place. They were especially known for using these things, not only as a weapon, but as a knife for everything. 
There have been stories where people got, where enemies of them got uh, decapitated. The headless bodies fell back into the window. The guys just looked out of for a second, scaring the living shit out of them, mates. You don't want uh, your people getting their heads chopped off. That's particularly nasty. Getting shot is one thing. Chopped off, nah. The handles are very tiny. For a western hand, it doesn't really fit. But these people are uh, small by nature. Uh, so it fits them. And uh, yeah, that's a very small one. That's not for fighting, but it's for uh, all kinds of other shit. I think uh, we've got it all now, is it? Alright then. Uh, we've got it all. With all the our lovely pieces on the phone. So, until next time, see you later. Bye!